And we're recording now. So uh, welcome. I am really excited for my second interview with Rutger Wilhelm, um, who, and, and, and we talked about this before, but uh, it's, uh, it, um, I'm just so super excited that you've written a book on cluttering and that it is um, affordable. Uh, like, like I think all of the all of the other books on on cluttering besides Rutgers book are like sixty um, sixty dollars seventy dollars a hundred and a hundred and whatever dollars. Um, I was actually talking to Kathy Scaler Scott and um, and she said that uh, because um, well she gave me some insight into why cluttering books are so expensive. Um, she um, um, because uh, because it, with her workbook she had to fight with the publisher to get it under fifty dollars. Um, because the publisher, um, the publishers, especially with scholastic kind of books, set, set the price, and so, so it's just really, really cool that you've got a book that pretty much everyone can afford without having to save up for like three, um, three months. So, um, so, so anyway, th uh, that's kind of my introduction. Could um, could you give another like introduction to your book and and uh, uh, maybe just a couple minutes about um, about your book, why you wrote it, uh, what's uh, what's in it, and who's it for? Sure, of course. Um, well, you know, and, and in doing that, I will try to, to, to keep my pace down, you know, because last time, for example, you know, when I, when I, when I saw the video back, you know, uh, actually, and I'm now talking in the same pace as last time, so I'm, I'm trying to slow down even more, you know, because uh, I, I just noticed, I think it's, it's very important for people who clutter that they, uh, you know, can also see, of course, from each other that slowing down really helps. Uh, and, uh, you know, for example, when I'm at work, uh, I, I really uh, am focusing much more on my speech rate. So I, I, you know, I tend to be, of course, more serious as well. So then my energy, you know, goes more down, you know, so, so the pitch is, is lower. And that really helps me in, in just speaking fluent, basically, because, uh, you know, and, and when I'm kind of enthousi enthusiastic, sorry, this difficult word, you know, or, or with friends or with you, for example, you know, uh, uh, being amongst people clutter, then, uh, yeah, then, then you are, I think, uh, easily inclined to, you know, to, to just talk ahead, you know, like you're used to. So, so, so yeah. So now I'm just uh, trying to, to do that. But, uh, well, my book is, um, you know, it's called Too Fast for Words. Well, I guess the title says it all, you know, I mean, uh, you know, it, it's just, uh, it's, it's the art as well uh, of uh, slowing down, you know, so that, that's basically what it says. And, and, you know, it's about, well, obviously my own experiences, but also, uh, well, um, you know, uh, other people who clutter, uh, I mean, also stories of other, uh, of other people who clutter, you know, and it's also a, an, 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 a, a well, an, um, a very extensive explanation on cluttering. So what it is, why it happens, you know, wh where, where it comes from, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So, and that I, I think, or I'd hope at least that this, this combination of personal stories and explanations, uh, as well as you know, tips for for dealing with this disorder. Obviously, you know, I, I hope that this helps the community out there to better cope or manage their cluttering. So yeah, well, you know, so actually, it it, it, it consists of ten chapters. Um, so so it starts with you know the 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 experience. Uh, Part, you know, and then it, go, it goes on to the more technical, uh, uh, what is it exactly part, you know, and then afterwards we, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go into more detail about uh, how you can cope with it. So it's, so it, it has three parts and uh, well, yeah, I'm just very, very, very glad, you know, that, that the book is finally out because I, I worked on this for about three to five years almost, I guess, you know, so that there was a huge job and I, you know, I, I well, I mean, I just hope that this helps people who have done. Well, um, that's uh, that's awesome. So, so my next question is kind of a like weird question, but if uh, if someone didn't really have time to read the whole book and just had to read one chapter, uh, which uh, which one chapter would you recommend that they read? And um, and and of course you're going to say, hey, well, read the whole thing. But, <laughs> well, you know, well, you know, you know, I mean, that's that's actually a very good question. What, 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 well, you know, oh, sorry. I think yeah, I'm going to to, to go to oh, uh, as well. Um, and, and and actually, let me uh, let, um, let me interrupt you and say that it's uh, it's actually probably all of my uh, my fault because I'm 
Um, I'm really excited to talk to you, and so my speech rate. No, is no, 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 it's okay. And um, and, and you're uh, you're uh, you're trying to uh, you're trying to give like a nice, good example of of a slow speech rate and good. Um, uh, and, and I'm just talking like super, super fast, normal, uh, normal speed. So, uh, um, so, so anyway, I'm um, sorry. Um, it's um, okay. Sorry for, <laughs> well, you know, sorry for, uh, so, sorry for the bad example, but um, but but yeah. but anyway, uh, um, back to your uh, back to your answer. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think you know that that totally depends on what you are looking for. You know, well, uh, what, well, so you know, so as I said, there 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 is all kinds of stuff in this in this book, but you know, uh, yeah. So it it really depends on your own uh, needs, you know, uh, yeah, what, what chapter you would like to uh, read, you know, for, for example, but well, you know, actually, you know, my, my own preference is, I guess, you know, j just, just the personal stories, you know, just, so just, you know, mm -hmm. all the anecdotes of people that are, that, that are in there, you know, of course, logically uh, arranged per chapter or per, per part of the book. Uh, -uh. So, so, so you, um, you would say, well, don't just, um, don't just read, um, it, if you want to skim, then don't just read a chapter, like, uh, like go through and look for the anecdotes from various people. Well, I mean, that, that for sure, you know, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, um, and that's, um, that, uh, that's kind of another question that I had is, um, so, so, so anyway, it's, uh, well, actually I'm realizing this question is more of just me, uh, me having, having an excuse to talk. Um, but, um, uh, but, uh, but, but, but I'm wondering if, if your experience was kind of like mine. So, so I've been involved in the like cluttering community for quite a while, but, uh, but I really hate talking on the phone. And um, I, um, actually, I, I, I like doing video chats much, much more than talking on the phone. Um, but, but before I realized that video, uh, uh, video chats, especially like when I'm recording for YouTube are, uh, are, are kind of like my comfort zone. Um, I, I, I just uh, really didn't talk to, well, I had, um, I, I chatted with a lot of folks with cluttering, but I, but I didn't really have very many conversations until pretty recently. Um, and so, and so in my, uh, in my head, uh, in my head, I, um, I've always known that I basically just have cluttering and then not, nothing else like speech wise. And, um, and so, and so what, um, so, so something that I realized I kind of convinced myself is that I, uh, like, like if there's like a cluttering spectrum or whatever, um, I thought I was like right in the middle of, um, I thought I was right in the middle because I basically don't have anything except for cluttering. I'm just like, like cluttering only with my speech. But the more that I talk to different folks with cluttering, I think that like, if cluttering's here, then I'm probably uh, I'm probably right here. Maybe you're right here. Someone else is right here. Someone else is right here. Um, in um, it, um, in all of that. So so, so anyway, I, I, I'm wondering if your experience was kind of uh, um, kind of similar, um, especially because I think we're, uh, um, we're we're really similar in the starting out. We probably didn't know anyone else with cluttering, and then we just had, kind of had to fumble around. Uh, like, like online chat um, chat groups saying, "Hey, uh, well, I, I saw your post on cluttering. You clutter too. That's kind of cool." Or, 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 or um, um, anyway, um, it, it, is that enough of a long statement for you to pull a question out of? <laughs> I'll try to. Okay. Well, you know, well, you know, well, you know, I mean, you know, the 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 funny thing is, I well, you 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 started off, you know, with with uh, you know your your own experience that you don't like, uh, you know, uh, phoning people, for example, right? Uh -huh. and, uh, so so now you you know then you know, but you know, but this is very 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 good question, of course, you know, but um, well. Let, let's go into your your last point, for example. I mean, uh, finding people of color, that, that is really difficult, you know. It, well, actually, I did it, uh, you know, for my book, for example. I, I I just asked, you know, some some speech language therapists to help me out, you know, because they obviously they 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 would know of some people of color, you know. So uh, so so that's how I basically got into into this 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 well group or or community. But of course, also the I mean, for the language, for the English part as well, and, 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 and well, I mean, like you uh, are doing as well, you know, for for the video interviews that you were having on your channel, uh, well, the Clubbing Facebook group is a great source, of course, you know, to 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 use. So so that's you know basically what I'm trying to do now as well for the English speaking uh, part of the Clubbers. But yeah, you know, um, so but you know, I think it's very it's very. Um, I would really love to uh, get in contact with more people who clutter, 
you know, uh, and then you know some some you know to to build up some kind of uh, of self help group, for example, online or whatever, you know, or yeah, so or or social media, you know, so so I mean basically everything that, that we could use to to help each other out, and you know, and share our experiences and stuff. Cool. Um, and, um, and, and, and kind of, um, kind of one of my, um, kind of one of my parts of my question is, uh, when I first, uh, when I first real, uh, when I first, or, or for, um, for, for a long time, I thought I was like dead in the middle of cluttering. Um, and, 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 and now, uh, like, like the more that I learn about cluttering, especially like through talking to people, I realize I'm probably not actually dead in the middle of cluttering. Uh, did you have a similar experience with that or, 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 uh, or, or like what, what was your experience? Um, talking to uh, folks with cluttering. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that that also de depends a bit on you know how you uh, would define you know the, this this continuum. You know, the, uh, but uh, well, but 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 at, but at least for example, I I always thought I was you know not that of a of a, of, a, of a very severe clutterer, honestly. But you know, then I got to listen back all my audio files and stuff and also video files uh, you know and and then i was just like oh my god this is really this is really bad you know so so yeah you know so so yeah so i i think i am a, a severe clutterer uh, or or at least i was a severe clutterer but but now you know like i said before you know when you're just just focusing on your speech and when you're uh, really trying to 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 manage that uh it, at least for me, it really helps to, to slow down and, for example, you know, uh, well, again, uh, put your pitch down and 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 uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, take more pauses and stuff and and you know, so that it helps me. But uh, I'm not sure if every people or if every clutterer um, would have the, the same experience. I mean, you know, I, I mean, every clutterer, of course, is different on this on this, you know, thing like you just mentioned. So um, yeah, and, and um, something something that happened with uh, with me that's really similar to what you're describing is quite uh, quite a few times I've thought, oh well, actually my speech seems fine, maybe. Um, and then, uh, but then I like watch a video of myself or uh, or play a recording of myself, and I realize, oh yeah, it, uh, it's it's definitely not gone. I just um, like like I just kind of forgot about it. So so, mm -hmm. so that's um, that's happened not once, not twice, not three times. Like like probably like five or six or even more times where uh, where I've like convinced myself that my speech is fine, but then when I actually like listen to hard evidence, then I realize, oh yeah, uh, it's um, I, it's basically it's basically the same. Yeah, well, well, you know, I mean, that, that, that's the most well difficult part, of, I think, of coloring, you know, I mean, our brains are actually constantly, you know, um, what, what's the word in English? We're constantly, um, you know, fooling ourselves, right? Because uh -huh. we actually don't hear, hear ourselves the way other people do. So, so and that, that is really, really uh, a tough thing to, to overcome, I think. So, yeah, so, uh, so, I mean, so my main tip for people of color would be, you know, uh, to listen back more often their own speech to you know to take more recording to to um, take more recordings and stuff so uh, yeah so i think that is very important because that that keeps you keeps you going you know and it keeps you sharp yeah in managing the cluttering yeah and i um and i think that's um i think that's really really powerful too i um, i actually read that about um i actually read that on a um on a public speaking book where um, and and um, and it was a book that my uh, I, I took a public speaking class in college. Like after I graduated, I went to the community college and took a few like courses that I didn't have time for in my um, in my regular thing. And um, and this uh, uh, this book I can't remember the name of it, but it's um, it it basically said that one of the most powerful things you can do for your speech is to get used to the um, get, get used to the sound of your own voice, and then especially like in um, in, in a presentation able to see yourself the way that other people see you um, uh, because uh, it's exactly like what you're talking about when um, we, uh, we basically fool ourselves and we have like this version of ourselves that isn't ourselves that's that only exists in our head yeah. and, um, and and then when you get to the point where you can like uh, like me I can um, I can kind of like um, picture myself over here looking at myself and have like an accurate a, a pretty accurate like 
picture of what, uh, what, what does Joseph look like? What does Joseph sound like? Um, the, the book basically said that like, as soon as you get to that point, that you're like way, way far, yeah. uh, far ahead of yourself. Yeah, and, exactly. um, and the way, um, uh, and I think, uh, I think like getting comfortable with your speech, because like, I, I don't think that very many people like even non, non clutters are, are, are like that because like, like if you, if you record, if you record someone and, um, and, and like, uh, like you do this a hundred times and say, hey, I just recorded you. Um, I want to play back and have you listen to your speech. Then, uh, then, then probably like ninety out of a hundred people are like, no, no, no. I think so. And so it's um, um, so, so so it's kind of this like super skill that folks with cluttering need to learn that that yeah. uh, that nobody else, uh, exactly. uh, no, nobody else besides like like, like professional speakers or, 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 or like superstars actually like um uh, like 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 develop so yeah. um, so, um well, so, yeah i mean sure, sure. i mean yeah. i mean you were you were mentioning uh, you know some some time ago to me I, I guess it was you yeah it was it was you i guess you know that that for example when you are um teaching i mean you're also teaching thai people right in, in your country now um, um, yeah uh, um, a couple a uh, couple times a year it's been it's been about a year since my last like english class yeah okay so uh, so i mean do you then also, you know, uh, notice or or feel maybe you know that your 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 speech is actually going much better when you slow down, for example? And and do you also, you know, yeah, do you do you know how people picture you in Thailand when you're standing in front of the classroom? <laughs> oh, and that's um, that's a really good um, that's a really good point uh, or a really good question. Um, actually. When I'm I'm so focused on having fluid speech when I am teaching that after after my class I basically am like <sighs> <laughs> like You're just exhausted. exhausted because yeah. my uh, because in order for me to have fluid speech my mind has to or uh, my my brain has to be like slow down slow down slow down slow down slow down speak very very fluidly uh, uh, like like so 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 my mind's just going like like even though even though my speech is slow uh, my mind is just in high gear and like smoke's coming out and whatever just because <laughs> i'm um, i'm i'm saying okay i i can't like like if i'm if the sentence is i am going to the store then I really don't want Thai people thinking that the sentence is "I am going, going, going to the store." Um, <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, okay. I, I, I need to uh, I'm making notes. I need to say this three times. Um, yeah. And um, oh, oh, and so so one of my one of my tactics that I actually learned from Dale Carnegie um, mm -hmm. is and and the Dale Carnegie three three day course is like a three uh, is like a public speaking class mm -hmm. where they kind of force you to give one minute speeches, which are actually really, really tough to like not to, to compress everything you want to say in just one minute. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, so, so, so throughout this course, you give like a whole bunch of speeches over and over again. And, and the really cool thing about Dale Carnegie is what they do is the, uh, the teacher models what you're doing first. Um, and then, uh, and then uh, the, the one that I was in, the teacher had a co-teacher. So the teacher modeled what you were doing first, and then the co-teacher, uh, the, the co-teacher basically g gave gave their own speech, uh, like like different uh, like like different experiences and stuff, but but gave like a version of that. Um, and then um, and then especially the first day, then the teacher would always pick like like the obnoxious, um, loud, boisterous one and say, okay, now you're first. Um, and so. Uh, I'm so and so the really really cool thing about that was before I had to give a speech, then I had at least three people and usually about five or six people that gave examples for uh, of me at first and and I thought oh that's that's actually really cool, and I can apply that to language learning. So mm -hmm. so what I do uh, what I do in that is I I give I give my speech like focusing really hard like don't have any disfluencies in this. Then, uh, uh, then I have a uh, then I have a Thai person who's really good at English do that. Um, then I pick the loud, boisterous um, student to give the third example, um, and then the rest of the class does um, uh, um, does theirs. And so, yeah. so, so that's kind of uh, like it's kind of a sneaky way to overcompensate for me cluttering because, like, even if I mess something up, then the uh, the Thai person who's really really good at English will will read it correctly because they know how. Uh, their English that, levels. That is a very, um, very, very smart thing to, yes, it is, it is smart of you. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, actually, no, I, um, 
uh, last week, or I guess it was, I was talking to 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 a, a mother and, and a son who you know of, of who others, and uh, the son he yeah he told me that um, uh, you know he he sometimes gets um, really tired of speaking, uh -huh. but also I mean you know you know you know but the question that I'm asking myself you know lately as well is you know what is the the thing that that gets you most tired I mean. Is that you know talking fluently? So I mean, con concentrating on your speech, or is that maybe uh, the, the cluttering itself? Because then you have to kind of repair, you know, all the glitches in your speech, you know, afterwards. So so what what is what is the 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 the, the, the truth behind that? You know, uh, so what is your experience in that? Um, yeah, and that's um, that, that. That's a really interesting question. The um, I, um, I've been um, I've been thinking I, I've been thinking about that a lot because um, a, a recent post to the cluttering group was a uh, was a parent who talked about how um, I think her daughter seems to have like good days and bad days, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and and she says, well, on on the bad days, it, I think that my daughter isn't actually bothered bothered by this except for that she's bothered that the um, the other people can't really understand her, um, and so, so, um, so for me, I think like um, the cluttering disfluencies aren't. Uh, um, I think it's similar to my experience. The cluttering disfluencies aren't exhausting. Um, probably the probably the most exhausting thing for me is when I'm talking to someone and their face just kind of like changes, and and I'm not really sure how to describe it, but but I realize oh I've 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 lost them, or, or their, or, 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 well, I'm not really actually sure what people's experience is when I am like saying something, um, un, uh, well, it's not really unintelligible. It's more that I have, I, I'm, I'm not really making my point because I'm kind of amazing, like, like going from topic to topic, and, um, and, and, and then people just kind of look at me like, uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, um, I don't know how to um, I don't know how to do that uh, expression but 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 when that happens then just my uh, my stress level just yeah, goes up because, yeah. uh, uh, be, because I think my speech is to the point where I can kind of control it and so it's just really really frustrating because I uh, because I think oh well I've I've lost this person or I'm in process of losing this person or uh, um, and then as soon as like as soon as people have that face, then it's then I feel like it's really tough to actually recover from that, um, and so and, and so like in my head I kind of go into this downward spiral of like okay now uh, now uh, now I need to try some stuff um, uh, what uh, wh where is I going with this um, yeah. I um, uh, now I've forgotten actually what what my what my point was and I'm trying so hard to like keep all this uh, um, keep all this like maze um, together so that I can actually make a point and then. Uh, um, so, um, so, um, so, so anyway, that's, that's the really stressful thing for me is when people give me the, yeah, um, I can give, me the uh, um, give, give me the look and I'm, uh, and I don't yeah. even know what, uh, what that is. So, so, no. so, so anyway, um, do, do you ever, um, do you ever get that look or? Oh, sure. I'm sure I get that look. Yes. Well, well no, but you know, yeah, I'm sure. Of course I, I get that look, you know, but, but the, but the, 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 well, the, the strange thing is that, uh, for example, when I didn't know, I, I mean, it, before I knew I cluttered, I mean, you know, uh, people gave me these faces as well, you know, but, but but then I just didn't realize it. I mean, that their face was actually saying something to me, you know, I mean, there was a signal for me to, okay, slow down. But, you know, so after my diagnosis, then I started to, to learn that more, you know, so then I started to to, to recognize these faces uh, of people. Yeah, sure. uh, and, and and actually, I'm sorry for interrupting, but, I, but it, it's never occurred to me that when someone gives me that uh, face, maybe it me, maybe it should be a signal for me to slow down because, uh, uh, because actually I think probably what my usual reaction is, is speeding up because I think, oh, well, I'm, I, um, I, I'm not making my point. Um, I probably need to say this and this and this and this and this, um, where I think you're probably right. They're probably like, oh my gosh, this guy is like <laughs> where, a mile yeah. in it. I mean, um, where, where is it going? You know, where is, is this guy <laughs> yeah. going, for example, as well? You know, but, but well, actually, you know, I mean, this is a very, very, very interesting point as well, because you, you just mentioned before that, that you don't like, you know, uh, phoning people, right? Uh, on the phones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, yeah. I mean, so then, of course, well, I mean, okay, so for example, <laughs> you are now, li now living in Thailand, right? So, but, but you're working for a, a, a for an American company, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. Correct. So, so do you do you maybe often have you know phone calls or whatever from Thailand to America or or, or, or you know I mean so do you actually talk to these people to your colleagues but not seeing them only hearing them only hearing them on the phone and I mean so what makes it difficult for you then or or what happens then? Yeah. So so, so I think the. Um, well, well, I think it's I think I think it's probably like this deep seated thing, like before I even knew about um, before I even knew about cluttering um, and uh, and my um, uh, my first uh, my first phone memory. It, it, it wasn't the first time I was on the I was on the phone because I because I used to like call my uh, call my grandma up all the same all the time and say, hey, can I um, hey, can I come over this afternoon? Um, but um, but but I don't actually have memories of that. The first uh, the, uh, the first memory I, I have is of me like calling my grandfather in England, and uh, and this was back in the '70s where like where where I think um, the, um, the phone rates were like twenty twenty dollars a minute or whatever, um, and so um, and, and we didn't have very much money, so so, so my mom um, um, and and um, you know how like you know how a lot of people don't like American English, they're like oh well American English is like it, um, it's not the Queen's English. It's um, so um, so so my mom uh, my uh, my mom like would uh, would would prep us for like uh, for like a month uh, before Christmas, saying, "Hey, you're going to talk to your grandfather on Christmas. Um, don't um, don't say." Uh, um, she she was trying to say, "Don't say yeah," but but, she, um, <laughs> yeah. but I remember her saying, "Don't say yeah." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I never say yeah, but um, but but then later I pieced together. Oh, she, uh, my mom was trying to say don't say yeah because yeah is an American thing, and yeah, um, exactly. well, and especially in the um, especially in the seventies it was. Yeah. Um, um, so so anyway, I um I, I I remember getting on the phone with my grandfather, and my grandfather's in England, or, or uh, um, he, um, he lived in England. Um, uh, he's passed on now, but uh, but really, really close to Scotland. So so he has what sounds like a really, really heavy Scotch accent, and um, and, and and he was yelling. So so he said, "How are you, my buddy?" <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like what? <laughs> and, and and he yelled that same thing over and over again. And then after um, after um, after the um, after the call, I realized he was saying, "How are you, my bonnie lad?" Um, Bunny lad, oh, lad, yeah. is, lad is really English, right? Lad. It's, it's, it's yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. Um, and then, and then, Bonnie is just like a nice, uh, a nice word, like, yeah. like, I, like I like you. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, but, uh, but, but, but I remember like shaking and um, trying to remember all the stuff that my mom told me not to say to my grandfather and 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 not say uh, um, not say yeah or. Um, and, and I, I I might not have actually said anything to my grandfather. I, I I can't remember. I just remember being on the phone. My grandfather like yelling in my ear and um, yeah, I mean uh, me, uh, me not so understanding. Weren't only, yeah, I mean I mean sorry, but sorry sorry to, to interrupt you, but but you weren't really only saying yes yes yes. To, to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah. So um, um so um so anyway that um that uh, that kind of started it and yeah. and I um or or, or, my, or my first memory. But uh, um but but to answer your question, I think. Um, I think that, like, when I'm talking to someone, then I can kind of tell do they um, do they get me or or, or not. Uh, where uh, where on the phone, I like I don't really have any feedback, and so so that's why um, yeah. that's why I think video calls are a lot better for me than phone calls yeah. um, because I can see, hey, well, am I am I losing this person? Am I not? Am I? Um, and um, and then I think um, I think there might be something kind of like messed up with my hearing. Um, uh, um, because well, well like um, with with phone calls um, it's kind of like how um, it's kind of like how mp3s are like uh, one one fiftieth the size of, of like the actual audio file but but the mp3 codec was like specifically designed to only give you the parts of speech that you can hear um, and so yeah. um, and so so phone um, phone calls I think Take that to an extreme because they like really reduce the like sound quality, but um, but but it's supposed to be like not noticeable to it's supposed to be not noticeable to the human ear. But I think that like just something about me like like the um, like like talking on the phone and like all the compression or whatever that they do with it, it just like 
like it just stresses me out yeah well you know I, 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 actually i have the 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 same experience as you will i mean for example now at work you know i mean during during COVID times i'm i'm almost for one year at home working at home now you know so so that's and I really like that because you know it's 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 over the or I mean it's it's calling through a screen you know instead of uh, in, uh, talking to people in in a in, in a group you know I mean live you know so mm -hmm. uh, for example when I'm when I'm live with people I I, I know myself I'm I'm just getting you know much more uh, you know much more uh, aroused and stuff you know so so then I'm just you know just can't talk like like crazy you know but when I'm talking over over screen. Then, then I'm just uh, again at work. <laughs> I'm just much more uh, in control or something, you know. So I mean, so, and I don't feel that energy that is in the room out there, you know, because that's also a thing for me, you know. When 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 there are many people around you and, and there there's a kind of a vibe or a kind of an energy, uh, you know, in this group, it, it also that also affects, of course, everyone, but also me, and that also affects you know the way I talk mostly, you know. So yeah, so 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 for me. Uh, yeah, you know, COVID is in that sense, of course, it's it's some kind of um, of of, uh, of of an advantage. Yeah, yeah, and um, so so I uh, um, kind of kind of one of my um, go, going back to your question about um, video um, video calls. So so I um, what I what I usually do is I um, and, and I think it's kind of to um, uh, well well like. A, tactic that I sometimes use is if somebody says, hey, let's let's have a call next Tuesday is sometimes I will um, sometimes I will um, do a whole bunch of research, uh, do a whole bunch of uh, research, try and try and solve their problem today. So uh, so that I can send them an email and say, hey, um, it, here's this your problem solved. Uh, you can easily test it by just clicking here. Um, if you still want the call on Tuesday, then we can do it. But um, but I think your problem is solved already. Um, yeah. So, so, so a lot of times, um, and, um, and then if they still do want the call, then a lot of times it's a lot shorter. Um, so, um, so, um, so anyway, I, yeah. um, I hate, um, I hate to admit that because, like, um, because at work, I, I always try to bluff and say, oh yeah, I will, um, I'll, I'll, I'll do any kind of communication you want. If you want email, if you want text, if you want um, chat, if you want uh, video call, if you want phone call, um, I can do anything. Um, yeah. and, and I'm and I'm sincere about that, but if I like if I'm honest and prioritize those, then <laughs> I uh, th th then like phone call, uh, phone call will be dead um, de um, dead last um, of uh, of anything else, and then I'll try really really hard and work really really hard to keep everything in 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 a place that I'm comfortable with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, um, but but, but yeah, I uh, um, I probably do uh, I probably do like three or four video calls for work every. Um, every week. Yeah, and, okay. that's okay. Um, and, and, and and luckily, luckily now that everyone has apps, then most um, most people don't really do phone calls anymore. Well, well, at least in Thailand. Okay. Oh wow! Really? Oh wow! So uh, so, so they're they're actually calling through an app. You you're saying it's so through a video. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Actually, um, pretty much everyone in Thailand has a, an app called Line. It's like it's like WhatsApp or or Skype. Okay. Um, so, so like, um, ninety nine point nine percent of all Thai people use that, and um, and only do like like phone calling through the app. Well, I, well, you know, this is really funny because, I mean, did you you know talk, for example, to other people? You know, I mean, regular speakers, you know, typical speakers who so so who don't clutter, that they also have difficulty sometimes with with phoning people. I mean, uh, actually, I think that many people also non clutterers, you know, that they do. Um, you know, feel I feel like phoning is is a bit awkward or a bit strange or maybe scary or some or something. You know, so um, I mean, I, I think that that's a more more common uh, feeling. Uh, and and I didn't um, I didn't realize that I thought it was just me. So that's uh, that's yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. exactly yeah 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 same here actually yeah yeah so uh, so um. So, um, so, so going back to your book, as far as interviews, um, how um, um, you said you got most of the interviews through speech pathologists. Yes. Um, um, how um, how did you um, how did you do that? Just just like say, hey, you're a speech pathologist. I'm writing a book. Um, can you put me in touch with some folks with cluttering? Or, or well, you know, actually, well, you know, 
Well, I mean, not 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 actually that way. I mean, you know, because I was, you know, I mean, I've been into my my into the uh, stuttering community for for a long time as well. You know, so, I mean, since since well, twenty years or so, or so I guess. So, so I knew, you know, already quite some people in this world. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, also of course in my own country. So you know, so so actually that was very easy for me to 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 you know to 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 ask people. You know, um, I, 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 well, you know. I mean, you know, the, the the network here is very small in my country, so I just knew people already, you know, who were treating pe people um, people of color. So yeah, you know, so so I didn't have to to look for it exactly, but but just knew somehow, you know, which uh, which well known therapists at least, uh, you know, um, treat these uh, people. So yeah, that was easy. Oh, that's um, that's really uh, that's really cool, and and I always hear that Europe is way ahead of. Uh, the U.S. in terms of cluttering, uh, um, cluttering diagnostics, and and I think, um, and, and I think that's probably why uh, that's probably why I have the question because um, most of the most of the therapists that I know in uh, um, in the in the United States know about cluttering, like like say, oh yeah, yeah, cluttering's a thing, but they might not have ever like had a cluttering um, a cluttering patient be or a, um, a, a cluttering client before. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, and so that's my question is how, how did he, how did he find so many people with, uh, w with cluttering to be able to write a book like this? Well, you know, I think it's just, well, you know, just, just because of that, I think, you know, because yeah, exactly. I mean, what you're saying and, and, well, in Europe or, or my country, at least there, the, the level of, of uh, yeah, the, the level of knowledge is quite high, you know, when it comes down to cluttering, you know, so, so yeah, I mean, w w I mean, also in Norway, for example, in Norway, you know, the, the, the uh, national association is called now the, the, the Norwegian Stuttering and Cluttering Association. So, you know, so, so that's, that, that basically says it all. I mean, it says that, you know, cluttering is, is an integral part of their, of their, you know, um, landscape or, or, the, or the association you know or their or their uh, you know um also treatments i guess you know so and, and that's, that's also true from for my country so that, that was really easy for me but what well, but i mean when you're when, when you're saying that for example in the states that you know the the knowledge of the uh, of uh, slps on coloring is uh, is relatively low maybe uh, you know i, I mean I mean, that, that's what I also noticed when I, I mean, I just talked to, to Kathy Skater Scott, for example, and she's actually saying the same thing, you know, she, uh, so, so Kathy Skater Scott is a well-known, you know, therapist and a researcher in, in, in States, but, you know, she, she's saying the, the same thing. I mean, uh, they, they, they know of the word cluttering, they, they know, you know, what, what, it, what it looks like or sounds like uh, somehow, but they, they mostly don't, uh, aren't equipped to, to, uh, to, to treat that. So, yeah, so, well, so there, there is a lot, a lot of work to be done. Well, of course, everywhere in the world, but also in, in the States, I guess. Yeah. 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 Um, probably, um, probably, especially in the States. And, um, oh, um, so, so, so one question, one question that I have about stuttering and cluttering is, um, and, and I'm, I'm totally fascinated by stuttering, um, mostly because, Folks with stuttering sound a lot like me, or or at least a lot like I did when I regularly had cluttering breakdowns like years ago. But um, but but like whatever is going on in her brains or mouse or whatever is is pretty different. Um, and, uh, and and one of the things that really really helped me out was me talking to a friend who has um, stuttering because with uh, with stuttering then. Like um, most uh, most of the people that I've talked to with stuttering don't really actually talk very fast as far as like like sentence, um, and so so it's really cool from a cluttering person to be able to talk to someone like that because it kind of naturally forces me to like think about what uh, think about and plan what I'm um, saying a lot more than with um, someone without someone without stuttering yeah um, so um so, uh, so so anyway what um one of my uh, one of my ideas for therapy is to and i don't know if this would help someone with stuttering at all um but but it would definitely help people with cluttering is to put uh someone with stuttering and someone with cluttering in a room and then have the conversation and i think what would happen is the 
person with cluttering would learn a whole bunch of really valuable stuff. Um, and, and like I said, I'm not I'm not sure if it'll help the person with stuttering at all, but it uh, but <laughs> exactly. Yeah, well, no, I, actually, I think, you know, that, that the person who stutters, he, I mean, I can imagine that people stutter, you know, uh, who, uh, who exactly who who talk mostly much slower than people who clutter, that they are somehow overwhelmed by people who clutter because they're they are talking so fast and, you know, and all this information, all this in, all this information and stuff, you know, so I guess it's it's more beneficial for people who clutter to talk with people stutter than than vice versa yeah, because yeah. exactly because they they have more time to 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 think about what they are going to say yeah and i think uh well i think the um the only benefit i can think of on the um from the uh, from for for the person with stuttering is that the person with cluttering um because they're generally going to be unaware about their speech they really don't care about the person with uh with stuttering speech and, and I think yeah. I think with stuttering, that's a really really big thing of like, oh, um, I'm I'm really self conscious and yeah exactly uh, and and that kind of thing. So exactly. so so anyway, that's uh, that's something that us clutterers could um, could offer the folks with stuttering. So yeah. um, so, so so since um, since since you know um, maybe even more about stuttering than you do about cluttering, um, um, uh, there's there's kind of there's kind of two things that I wanted to talk about. Um, one is uh, one is the stuttering disfluency, which is repetition. And, and the interesting thing about that is that most people, like 99 percent of people, and probably probably everyone who doesn't have stuttering, really can't relate to being uh, to thinking of a sound and not actually being able to physically pronounce that sound. Like like, like that's just something that most people have never had before, and most people just can't relate to someone with stuttering like that. Um, and um, and then um, th then there's the concept of blocking, and um, th uh, this is how I understand it. But but since you're an expert, then I want you to like correct me if I got the wrong uh, uh, the wrong thing. So 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 with stuttering, there's a lot of anxiety that goes along with stuttering, and um, and and because there's so much anxiety that goes along with stuttering, then often there's this thing that that's um, that, that's called blocking, which is like if if you know, like, like if you have to say the word stuttering and you know that you always mess up on the S sound, then uh, um, then there's this like huge anxiety block that comes up and instead of actually like, instead of actually like repeating the S sound, like S -s 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 -s, then, uh, then you have this big like block and you just like stop because, uh, because of this mental anxiety block or whatever. Um, and and instead, of, instead of the S -s 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 -s, then it sounds like, Yeah. Um, um, is um, is that a is that a fair explanation of of stu like the stuttering disfluency and blocking or or yeah, did I, I guess get... so. Well, 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 first of all, we we are both experts, you know. So, so yeah, so, but, but, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, I know, but but, but but I think you're right. I mean, yeah, I think uh, you know uh, people. I mean, the the, the typical stuttering. Uh, um, uh, features or you know or, or symptoms are, are blocking are blocking for example and exactly like the way you you just showed I mean uh, really blocking in their you know in their in their mouth and stuff and their in their cheek and, and and so on and you know and and also their breathing I guess because people clutter at least um, I I don't have any problems with uh, with my breathing or something you know I mean we could just mm -hmm. normally breathe I guess you know but people stutter they seem to have a of course, breathing patterns or breathing problems because of that blockages, I think. But you know, but I mean, but 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 that is that, that is the 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 essential difference, I think, between stuttering and cluttering. Yeah. Uh, oh, and, and so, um, so um, kind of my question is, since you thought you had stuttering for quite a long time, um, and 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 I'm guessing you never actually had the the, the stuttering um, disfluency where you. You you would think of a sound, but then couldn't actually pr pronounce that sound. Mm -hmm. um, but um, um, but then like a lot of a lot of stuttering, uh, a lot of stuff about stuttering is about calming yourself down and and and, and removing those blocks. Just um, just letting yourself say um, say that. Um, did did you ever find yourself blocking just because you were so much a part of that um, community and? Um, and and did all of the like relaxation and and um, and, and meditation and calm um, and um, calm yourself down and breathing? Um, did you did you find any of that helpful? 
Well, um, you know, uh, I I never, I really never experienced, you know, these, these these kind of blockages or tense blockages, you know, when I was amongst people who stutter, for example. So yeah, you know, so so I, so, you know, so my speech wasn't influenced by by you know the the, the stuttering of other people. So that's. You know that's the, the, the your your first question, but um, and yeah, and, and sure, it helps me as well to um, you know to to for example do yoga or or you know or just uh, relaxing. I mean that, that that really helps me. But at the same time, I think it's very important to say that you know I mean some researchers or some or, or some clinicians they say that. When people who clutter relax, or you know, or, or just uh, you know, just yeah, are, are are relaxed, that they may clutter more, or they go clutter more. But 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 I don't think that that's well. Of course, that is that can be true most of the time. But I think there is a big difference between relaxation and um, and sort and, of and, you know, yeah. And um, and, and that's uh, that's never really sat right with me that. Um, that, that um, the, the idea of having a speech therapist always keeping me like uh, in a tense, nervous um, <laughs> state, so, um, just so my speech can be better. Uh, but, 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 anyways, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting you. Yeah, no, no, no. So, yeah, well, you know, so, so I was, I was just saying, you know, that there is a difference between relaxation, I think, and being relaxed while still focusing on, on your speech. You know, you know, so, because sometimes people just, you know, see the these two things as as opposites. I mean, uh, so so focusing on so concentrating on your speech versus relaxing, but th that can be done in the same time, you know. Because actually, when I'm relaxed, it, it's more easy for me to focus on my speech because you know because when I'm stressed out, then when I'm stressed out, I can have some. I sometimes can have uh, little little you know, blockages sometimes, but that's that's really really rare. In my case, and, and so how? I mean, how is that for you? I mean, when you're stressed out, do you also stutter sometimes, or? Um, so, so I think I've, I, I think I've never really had a stuttering. Um, I think I've never really had a stuttering component, and um, and actually, I, um, I, um, I, um, on my, um, I, um, I have a, I have a speech sample that I recorded. Um, for um, for uh, like one of the first um, stuttering con stuttering conferences where they like they invited me to write a paper and I I I, I recorded a um, I recorded like what my or what my cluttering sound sounds like at its worst and um, and and I heard that a lot of people thought that I was actually stuttering or that I had a stuttering component or that it wasn't cluttering um, just because um, just because I had had just so many like starts and stops. And I think I think for me that the reason for that is just I had like like five or six sentences bouncing around in my head that I was trying to co-pronounce all at the same time, and uh, you you can only ever say one word at a time um, um, correctly. But um, but I was like uh, 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 I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of like that, which uh, which is a lot different than the. Um, stuttering disfluency, where um, where your uh, where you know what you want to say, but your mouth just isn't working. Um, 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 but but for me, it was more that I was trying to like push through like five or six different things through my mouth at the same time, and um, and and for me, it was more that mouths don't work that way. Uh, more that that my mouth wasn't working. Yeah, exactly. I know. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, well, you know. And I also think that, for example, you know, uh, when people clutter, when they talk so fast, you know, it's sometimes it's just impossible for your for your brain and for your mouth and certain stuff to to you know to handle that. So I think you know also because of the speed, I think that people who clutter may also stutter sometimes, you know, instead of that the stuttering is caused by uh, a, a motoric, uh, uh, you know, thing. So I, I think that's that, that's also important to say. Yeah, and and um, so 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 from my um, from my perspective, then I I always count that as as cluttering, even if it sounds identical to uh, um, just stuttering, and um, and 
and from my perspective, um, and, and this might not actually be fair to the stuttering community, but uh, but but from my perspective, then um, th then when 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 people say, <coughs> um, sorry, bless <coughs> you. Um, when uh, uh, when people say uh, when people say in, in normal conversations like when they stumble over the words and they say oh I just stuttered, then uh, then then according to my view zero percent of the time is that actually is stuttering because they don't actually have a problem like their mouth is still working it's just that there um, something happened between their brain and their mouth yeah exactly um, and um, and so. Um, and so, so in in one hundred percent of those cases, I would say that that uh, that what would be technically accurate is that person sh um, should say, "Oh, I just cluttered," uh, but but cluttering isn't actually in the um, in in people's lexicon or, or like like in the general lexicon. So yeah. Um, so, um, so so even though it's technically clutter, even though it's technically cluttering, um, then or um, um, then everyone just still calls it stuttering. Like, oh, I just stuttered over my, my words. Um, I have to. I, I get so nervous when I give a speech because I always stutter when I when I speak. Like uh, like uh, when when normal people are using the word stuttering, then they always uh, then then for my view they're always talking about yeah. stuttering. Yeah, I agree. Um, and so, um, and, so and, and so 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 with my view of things, which uh, which isn't necessarily the right the right view or whatever, it's just my view. Um, then then like then, then someone like me that even even if I sound like I'm stuttering, then I. Uh, 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 then, uh, uh, then I'm then it's actually um, pretty much all cluttering, and and, and I kind of have a story with that because when um, when I was well, I got I, I got diagnosed when I was 27, I think, and I, and I started like getting serious about improving my speech when I was 33, and when I uh, when, uh, when, uh, when when I did that, I read a lot about stuttering, stuttering versus cluttering, and um, and and I um, and back then. Um, I, um, I think I think people um, think this now too that that stuttering and cluttering often go hand in hand, but um, but I I asked myself oh do I uh, um, do I stutter and so I, so, so I just like mentally went through like all my speech and and like like noticed am I am I stuttering and I think um, w w well uh, there there were a couple there were a couple like sounds or words that I would. That I would basically stutter on, um, but I was able to like uh, as soon as I was aware of them, and then I and then I practiced a few times. Then my um, quote unquote stuttering um, went completely away, and so I um, I would say that I, I would say that that actually probably wasn't stuttering, that uh, but but just that it sounded so much like stuttering. That yeah. uh, um, and um, and and I was basically I, I was basically like doing all the sounds of someone with stuttering, but if but if I actually had stuttering, I wouldn't be able to think myself out of it. Um, yeah. So <laughs> um, so, uh, um, so so I have to conclude that what I had wasn't stuttering, even though um, even though it sounded like it. And and like I said on my uh, on my speech sample, then. Uh, um, that, that then there were a lot of speech pathologists that are like, oh yeah, this guy, this guy is definitely definitely has stuttering. Um, so, so, um, so, so, so I fooled, um, I fooled some of the um, some of the best. But as far as I can tell, I'm like, as far as I can tell, it's all it's all cluttering, even though it sounds like really really similar to stuttering sometimes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think yeah, I agree with you. Hey, listen, um, actually, I need, need to go to my wife because she's asking uh, uh, constantly, uh, you know, uh, uh, like. Uh, you know, calling me uh, back on, on the background, but um, can, can we do another and maybe you know another interview or or later on as well, again or would it, would um, yeah okay? um, yeah I would um, I, I, I would I would love to I haven't I, I haven't gotten too far into your book but I'd really like to after I've uh, like after I've read some sections and written out uh, um, written out some questions to uh, um, to go through and and kind sure. of use that as, as the basis for a next a uh, next interview if that's okay. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's that. That's fine. Of course. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So, so okay. Let's, let's do that. And uh, yeah. And, and we'll 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 see each other later on. Okay. Um, awesome. Okay. Thank, um, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you, Joseph. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.